Okay. Hello, everyone. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm going to talk about marketing. I'm sorry. Um, there's a lot of technical stuff all around here at the conference, but I'll, I'll talk about marketing. Um, so just um, talking about NFT digital marketing strategies. So just checking a little bit at the market potential and growth, um, audience and goal, what you to define, etc. And then talking a little bit about the strategies, the known ones, and the most a bit more creative ones as well. And then some just consideration when you're talking about NFT marketing. OK, so just a quick introduction. My name is Greg. I'm French, but I live here in Portugal since 15 years. I created Unique SEO, which is a digital marketing agency in 2016. We are Google partner, and we do uh, work a lot in difficult industries such as crypto, NFTs, uh, cannabis, adult, etc., etc. Okay, so in terms of the market size, it's actually pretty specific because when you look on the internet, you find a really different kind of information. So, you know, this source is telling us that it's going to be 60 billion uh, market in 2031. And if you check at this one, it's actually 388. Um, so you never know what to expect with this market. But what we can agree on is that there is potential. So there is definitely potential of growth. And where there is growth, there is market share to get and so marketing to do, uh, to be able to communicate your project. So now regarding the digital marketing part, the strategies is basically how to get the most out of your NFT project and how to, to communicate and to market this project. Next. <laughs> okay, cool, thank you. Um, it's just basically a quick process that you need to follow, some s basic steps regarding um, your strategy. So th the first thing you need to do is define your audience and your goal. Then working on the strategy itself, so how are you going to communicate, which tools, which platform, etc. And then doing the monetization, optimization based on KPIs, results, sales, whatever. So regarding audience and goals, so first defining the goal, depending on what your product is, depending on, on what you want to achieve, you need to decide if it's sales, if it's community management, if it's um, just bringing on financing or anything like that. Then defining your target audience, so geo, age, um, habits, uh, what do they like, how do they communicate, etc. just to make sure that you're actually going to target the right person for your product or for your service, and then defining properly your product and your services. So this is super important, especially, in, I would say, in the NFT um, niche, just because it's quite recent, and the general public um, doesn't know much about it yet. So it's important to be straight away and to have a clear communication about your product and your services, making sure it's easy to show and to make, make them understandable. So now, regarding specific strategies, um, so these are, I would say, the basic ones that everyone knows or might use for their, for their projects, which is social media, which we can extend to the community management. So this go through, obviously, Twitter being, I would say, the main one. But you can consider, depending on the audience, depending on your community, it could be um, on Instagram, on Facebook, whatever. Um, and we can actually extend that even more to all the Discord, Telegram, WhatsApp groups, etc., just to be able to create this sense of community and to promote your, your project better. Uh, obviously, then we have the influencers or celebrities, cooperation and activations. So this is. A bit tricky because I think, uh, historically speaking, they had a lot of problem related with the NFTs markets and uh, NFT projects for that. So there is really a, a negative sense on this uh, on that level. Um, but I think at the micro level, if we're talking about a very specific niche project, it's actually quite important to work and to find and select the right person that could actually promote your project pretty well. Other known techniques, which would be this, con this kind of conferences where you can really promote and share ideas, share with your community, and, 
and make it through. So everything, especially in Europe, you have quite a lot of, of conferences. So anything related with blockchain, crypto, or NFTs, or, or Web3 conferences, they're actually a really good, a really good channel to, to be able to promote your project. And the very basic and simple paid ads. So you have very specific crypto ad network, which they allow you to actually promote on Web3 websites that will accept without any issue um, any NFTs, any crypto kind of project to be able to advertise. Uh, if you're talking about more general um, market platforms such as Google, Facebook, etc., you have to be very careful because uh, they are heavy regulated. So depending on the kind of project, if you're trying to sell, if you're trying to promote NFTs, sometimes you're going to get banned. So it's, it's just to be careful when, you're, when you want to advertise on this kind of platform. And then obviously also the pretty known one is the NFT platforms, uh, marketplace, sorry. So one of the biggest one being OpenSea, I guess. But you have a lot of them depending also on where you are standing in terms of products. So you might have for fashion, you might have for arts, you might have for very different kind of, of products and services. So this is also a really good, a really good way to, um, to be able to have your own space and then promote, try to communicate with your community or your potential clients about your project. Okay, now a bit more creatives. Um, so the, the Reddit and Crower, for uh, people who don't know what it is, they are user-generated platforms. So it's basically like forums, gigantic forums. Um, they are very important, especially now, just because since the last um, core Google updates, they actually gain more than 700% of traffic, of organic traffic. So that's where your user will actually express themselves, give their opinion, give their feedback about your product or services. And it's very um, crude. It's very straight away. They don't have any filters or anything like that. So they are very good communities. Very important to have like uh, your own space in those kind of platforms as well. So I would definitely recommend if you want to communicate your project to have, um, to have this kind of, um, of platform and this kind of channel that you consider them. And website and SEO. So this is um, sometimes a bit disregarded. Making sure you have your own websites. I'm especially talking about that because we do a lot of SEO uh, internally at Unique. But sometimes a lot of projects in the NFT space, they are basically just uh, thinking about social media, especially Twitter, just communicating on Twitter. But this is important for your organic visibility to have a web website. It's also important to be able to share as much information as possible with your users, with your community about your project, and then being able to do SEO for it. So then to appear more and more organically speaking, especially if you're trying to create something long term, this is super important to do. Okay, and within the SEO, um, the SEO part, um, one of the things you can do is uh, digital PR. So this is the way of publishing, doing normal press release, I would say, but especially on, on, on the PR, on the digital level, not only printing or having, um, having ads on, on newspapers or anything like that, but really digitally speaking. And you can really try to target the Web3 um, the web, web three space and these kind of um, websites which actually will give you visibility, will give you new user coming to your website, but also give you organic, organic value. So you will appear easily on, on Google. And the last one is the, the crypto spaces and the metaverse. So this might be a strategy where you need actually a bit more budget, you need a bit more funds, but it's also a spot where you can you can actually create your own um, your own space and your own community and be known in this as well. Um, so all those strategies before doing that, you need just to have some some kind of considerations, some kind of important information regarding the market saturation. So one of the key points is to be differentiated. You need to have something unique. You know, NFT is is growing very fast. It's very it's not very easy, but it's getting easier and easier to launch your project, to launch your NFTs, etc., etc. So you need to be differentiated in, in a way. Lack of understanding, we talked about it. It's like the general users, the general population doesn't understand the technology, doesn't understand how it works. So it's, I think it's up to us as well as 
project as you have projects to be able to communicate as easily as possible with your with your community um, then checking the legal aspects I think there are also some panels about it um, today and yesterday very important to check the legal aspects especially if you're working on a global project that is very important um, sustainability so this is more eventually for the future but we should already consider it nowadays, which is the energy consumption for your, for your NFT projects. So it costs a lot to have the server, to have the infrastructure and everything. So consider that as well. The fraud also talked about it regarding celebrities and, and, and influencers. So very, being careful about your project, making sure that you have all the security. You actually have some booth regarding smart contact security here. Um, so very important to to make sure that you're you're all, uh, well set up for your users, and finally the user experience. So once again, the knowledge is important, but the experience using your product as well or your service. So we already know sometimes with the wallets it's a bit confusing for the general public. Um, so making sure that they have all the information and that when they're actually using your products or services, they have the best experience possible. That's that's how it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a success. And that's it. Thank you very much. If you want to reach out, don't hesitate. I'll be around as well. Thank you.